I left the banking industry in the year 20, 2002 as a deputy general manager. The Shadow Institute of Bankers of Nigeria is doing a wonderful bank, uh, work in the banking industry because without the central um, Shadow Institute of Bankers of Nigeria, enthronement of ethical behavior will be drifting in the banking industry. But CIBN is doing a lot in that direction to ensure that people are ethical in their behavior and also. Even though I retired in the banking industry, I was also a director in Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria for 10 years. And that also makes me to know a lot about what CIBN is doing. CIBN is doing a lot. And this event is a program that brings all bankers together to come and assess what has been done in the year past and to look forward to what is going to be done in the, in the, in the coming year. The CBN governor is coming today to come and give a speech as to the direction of this economy, what, what we should look forward to. This issue of inflation, devaluation of currency, uh, price stability that we have, or price instability that we have been facing in the last few months, these are things that the CBN governor should be able to tell us about, and that will give us a lot of. Uh, uh, what the duration of the economy would look like next year. CIBN has been the, <laughs> has been the apex um, regulatory body for practitioners in the banking industry, and they've done this consistently for 60 years. You, know? you can't call yourself a banker if you are not a member of CIBN. And uh, as, a, as an institute, they've held forth very strongly. You know that the banking industry is the sector that uh, if, if the sector sneezes, everybody catches cold. And uh, we've seen the value that the banking industry have brought into the Nigerian economy, both to individuals, to businesses, and the society at large. Whenever Nigeria runs into trouble, it is the banking industry that shows leadership. Whether there is a flooding event, whether there is COVID, whatever happens, the banking industry shows leadership, both with our money and everything that we do. Even in the area of CSR, corporate social responsibility and corporate social investment and sustainability, there's no sector in this country that plays that fundamental role like the banking industry. So we are very proud to be a member of CIBN and will continue to uplift you know, the glory of the banking industry in Nigeria.
also been making the environment very, very conducive for business to thrive. I'm talking about the governor of Lagos State, who is um, ably represented here by the Commissioner for Finance, Mr. Bayomi. Thank you so much. I also would like to welcome the presence of the Minister of Finance and the Coordinating Minister of Economic Federal Republic of Nigeria, Mr. Walid. Thank you so much. Our governor, the Governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, I wish to welcome you so much, Mr. Governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, with his beautiful wife. I want to welcome Mr. Alayemi Kadosu and his beautiful wife. Thank you so much. The Senate Committee on Banking and Finance, Insurance and Other Financial Services. That's also your constituency. You know, thank you so much, Senator. We also have the Senate Committee Chair on Diaspora NGO Civil Society in the person of Senator Antonio Yaro. Thank you so much for it gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to the 50th and annual Bankers Dinner and the grand finale of the 60th anniversary of our Devout Institute. As customary, the annual Bankers Dinner is an event where stakeholders in the banking industry and key economic actors, inclusive of regulators, Operators, government, customers, and the business community are afforded the opportunity to convivially let their hair down and socially network. This year's edition is particularly auspicious as we celebrate not only professional excellence in the banking industry, but also the diamond jubilee of our esteemed institute. As we commemorate this important milestone, we acknowledge our past presidents, other leaders, and institutions that have over the past six Decades contributed towards the development of the Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria, from cradle to the revered status that it has attained today. I therefore, welcome specially to this gathering the Vice President, who is heavily represented by the Special Advisor. On National Economic Council and Climate Change. I'm also excited to welcome the Executive Governor of Lagos State, who also is heavily represented here by the Commissioner for Finance. We thank you, Mr. Governor, for your support and for providing the enabling environment for business to drive in Lagos State. I want to especially welcome and appreciate the Honorable Minister of Finance, Mr. Wale Du, for his esteemed presence at this auspicious occasion. We sincerely appreciate you, sir. Let me at this juncture welcome very warmly the Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Mr. Olayemi Kadosu and his dear wife, 
for taking our time with us this evening, despite your schedule, which, you know, is quite busy. The Governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, as the guest speaker today, has historically used the platform to share perspective on economic and financial market developments in the current year. And then we we'll go ahead to provide insights into the economic outlook for the year ahead. We look forward to an exciting and highly insightful session as Mr. Governor addresses us tonight. It's important to mention that within the short period in office, the CBN governor has activated some key initiatives aimed at repositioning and stabilizing the economy. I'll mention a few. Focusing on the core monetary policy mandate of price and exchange rate stability. The unification of the exchange rate. Initiating steps to boost liquidity in the foreign exchange market through commencement of settlement of matured forward obligation. Market reflective rate for government treasury security geared towards achieving real positive yield on such investments. Joint issuance of advisory notice by CBN in conjunction with the Financial Services Regulation Coordinating Committee and the National Broadcasting Commission to end this court of illegal financial operators in Nigeria. Let me say at this juncture that it is a journey and we are not yet there, but we believe that we are progressing as we are not oblivious of the inflationary pressure that have intensified and have reached an all-time high of 27.3% in October 2023, with negative yield on investment of financial security, while the exchange rate continue to exert pressure on the financial market. As government continue to open the economy for increased private sector participation, enhancement of incentives to boost non oil export, providing the enabling environment for diaspora inflows, foreign portfolio and foreign direct investment. We expect growth in the economy as we move the years ahead. Let me also take a moment to appreciate the MD of NDIC, Mr. Hassan Bello, and all the managing director and chief executive of banks that have co-sponsored this dinner. My special thanks go to the DG of the Central Bank of Nigeria, who are here present for your great support and what you continue to provide. Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, as we mark our 60th anniversary, we reflect on our journey and achievements over the decades. We are proud of the legacies of our founding fathers, our esteemed past presidents, and indeed everyone that has contributed in no small measure to the development of the Chartered Institute of Bankers, the banking industry, and the Nigerian economy as a whole. Esteemed audience, it might interest you to know that the Institute has produced numerous distinguished bankers who have risen to the highest level of leadership and management in public and private sector. 
So you can see today the Minister of Finance, the CPN Governor, the Senate Committee on Banking and Finance, the Commissioner for Finance in Lagos State, all of these and many others. In fact, the senators in the Doriaro are all bankers and they are all here present today. And that attests to the quality of leadership. We've also taken our mandate of building competency and ethical consciousness among banking professionals in line with our vision of becoming a global reference point for skills and conduct in the banking and finance ecosystem. It's instructive to note that the challenge to the bankers of Nigeria is currently being written in six professional, in six countries in Africa, including Sierra Leone, Gambia, Liberia, Ghana, Rwanda, and Zambia. Important to mention also is that the Institute has fully transited to a full proctoring examination board where candidates can now write their examination in the comfort of their preferred location. The Institute is also running collaboration with Bangor Business School in Scotland and have also taken further to run with the Lagos Business School. The future of our sector is obviously digital and this has prompted CIBM to commence a FinTech certification program with the maiden edition that took place during October 2023 examination diet. As part of our efforts to support the economy, the Institute has also forged collaboration with African Export Import Bank, Africa Bank, to run a specialized joint certification program and capacity building in the area of trade for players and operators in the ecosystem with a view to taking maximum advantage of the African continental free trade area. We'll be flagging off the collaboration, the joint program in the first quarter of next year. As the conscious and moral compass of the financial industry, CIBM has instituted an annual ethics compliance certification program for all cadres of staff or banks in Nigeria. And to further make this as demonstration, today we will be recognizing some Nigerians that have demonstrated a common step of integrity. We will be having people that have shown that despite all odds, they will always show that they have integrity. Today we will be recognizing them. It's also worthy to note that we have commenced a comprehensive digital transformation in Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria, end to end. Part of our efforts and commitment to improving standard of education in Nigeria by extension supporting the economy. The Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria is to initiate learning legacy project by allowing the 160 CETA smart lecture theater fully furnished and equipped with automated facilities eight higher institutions spread across the geopolitical zones in Nigeria. The project is named C 
of Nigeria, Senator Tokugo Abiru, FCID, and also Senator Osita Ogo. His Excellency, the Governor of Kano State, Alaji Abba Kabir Yusuf, ably represented by the Honorable Commissioner for Finance, Al Haji Jubril Ibrahim. The Honorable Minister of Finance, Mr. Wale Edun. The Governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, Mr. Olayemi Kadozo. The Honorable Commissioner for Health, Lagos State, Professor Akin Abayomi. The President and Chairman of Council, the Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria, Dr. Ken Opara, FCID. The Chairman, Dinner Planning Committee and the Managing Director and CEO of Fidelity Bank PLC, Mrs. Neka Oyani, FCID. Managing Directors of banks and other captains of industries here present. The Chairman, 60th Anniversary Committee, Dr. Chekun Aino, OFR, FCID, and other members of the Planning Committee. Our royal fathers here present, other distinguished invited guests, gentlemen of the press, and ladies and gentlemen. Being the good message delivered by Mr. Babajide Ulishola Sonwolu, Governor of Lagos State, at the 58th Annual Bankers Dinner, and grand finale of the Charter Issue of Bankers of Nigeria 60th Anniversary Celebration held today, Friday 24th, November 2023, at Eco Hotel Suits, Victoria Island. I am delighted to join the Vice President of the Federal Republic, a banker of repeats, His Excellency Senator Kashi Chetima, GCON. The President of our Institute, Dr. Ken Opara, FCID, and distinguished friends and colleagues in the noble banking profession at this 58th Annual Bankers Dinner, which also marks the grand finale of the 60th Anniversary Celebration of the Charity of Bankers. Sincerely speaking, attending 60 years, especially as a professional body is not a main feat. I congratulate the body of past presidents of the Institute and I thank them for passing the torch and the dream of the founding fathers down to his current holder. I also want to express my appreciation to Dr. Ken Opara, the current president of the Institute, for keeping the flag of excellence flying Hi. This annual dinner is the flagship event of CIBA and the most anticipated by corporate leaders, captains of industry, policy makers, and so on. This is so because the social interaction and the network which this occasion affords is one event where guests are privileged to have an idea of the government monetary policy and macroeconomic policy direction in the coming year through the annual address of the Governor of Central Bank. However, this 58th edition of this annual dinner is quite significant because in the last few months, we have witnessed what can be described as the new dawn in the management and direction of our monetary policy and fiscal policy in line with the renewed hope agenda of the current administration led by His Excellency President Omar Ahmed Tinobu, GCFR. I have confidence that in the coming first full fiscal year of this administration, including the new management of the Central Bank of Nigeria, under the able leadership of the governor a thoroughbred and highly experienced professional, Mr. Olayemi Kadoso. The anticipated positive impact of the new monetary and fiscal regime will fully manifest in our macro and microeconomic indices. Most importantly, 
at least for us as politicians, in the, in the living conditions of our people. As we celebrate the Diamond Jubilee of our Institute, and we reflect on the journey so far, focusing on the future, it is very important that we all key into the vision of this administration and collaborate with its key institutions to build a truly strong and sustainable nation, properly positioned to play its leadership role as the largest economy in Africa. I thank you for this. God bless you. Director of Business Development, Lexington Bank, uh, Honorable Stella Okotete. Ima Ugu, Deputy Director of the Federal Ministry of Justice, is also representing the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice. Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the second goodwill message is coming from a man that has been described as being inspiring in silence and action. He's a sure-footed leader of men with a sense of corporate cleverness. Under him, Senate Bank is ticking. Exceptional, charismatic. He's also the chairman of the body of bank CEOs. Please welcome here, Dr. Ebenezer Oyan. The 
the transformation and the initiative of the central bank. Even though those reforms are painful, some of them are painful, but we believe that we need to endure the pain for a better and greater tomorrow. See, if you are looking at our nation, Nigeria, or you are looking at Africa, the opportunities you have in Africa it doesn't get bigger than Nigeria. Nigeria is the heartbeat of Africa. Nigeria is the destination for investment in Africa. So we only need to put our book together. Look at the demography we have in our country. 220 million people, 70% are below age 30. That is a growing population, that's a consuming population, that's a vibrant population. Therefore, the banking communities are ready and willing to support the reforms of the federal government in repositioning, in refreshing and retilling our industry and the general economy for the good of everyone. So today we congratulate the CIBN on the 60th anniversary and wish to assure the CBN governor and as well as the president of the institute that we are standing behind them and to see that we deliver a nation that every one of us is very proud of. We are looking forward to a bigger, better and well-managed economy that will be for the good of everyone. So once again, we say congratulations to CIBN and best wishes for another 60 years of very outstanding and improved and robust leadership. Thank you. All of us. Your Excellencies, the Vice President and the Governor of Lagos State, ably represented, distinguished Senator Ashiru, in whose domain we are, and Senator Anthony Yaru, the Honorable Minister of Finance, Ralph is here with us. Ambassador Gusulere just passed on a few days ago. My immediate bosses, Chief Mrs. P.O. Adebi and Tony Fide. Thank you all for the roles you have played in my life and I'm glad to be associated with you. Thank you so very much. God bless you all. The Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, ably represented by Mrs. Rukai Arifai, the Senators of the Federal Republic of Nigeria present here are my colleagues, Senator Yar Yaro and Senator Gia, the Governor of Lagos State, ably, ably represented by the Honorable Commissioner of Finance, Mr. Yomi Oluyomi. The Honorable Minister of Finance and um, Coordinator, Coordinating Minister of the Economy, Mr. Wali Edu. The Governor of the Central Bank and his amiable wife, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Olayemi Kadosu. The President and Chairman of the CIBN and the, um, the body of bank CEOs and my former colleagues, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good evening. It is an honor and a privilege to stand before you tonight as a special guest, um, though as one of you as well, at the 2058 Annual Bankers' Dinner and the Grand Finale of the 60th Anniversary of the Charter Institute of Bankers. This gathering marks not only a celebration of the Institute's rich history, but also an opportunity for us to reflect on the pivotal role that the banking industry plays in shaping the economic and financial landscape of our great nation. The Chartered Institute of Bankers has been, a, has been a beacon of excellence, fostering professionalism and innovation within the banking sector for six remarkable decades. So tonight, we commend the Institute for its tireless efforts upholding the highest standards of integrity and competence among professional banking um, professionals. So as the chairman of the Senate Committee on Banking and other uh, Senate Committee on Banking, Insurance and other financial institutions, I stand before you as a partner in progress committed to fostering an environment that allows for financial ecosystem 
that is both the regulators and the operators, to thrive in order to protect the interests of all stakeholders. The banking industry plays a critical role in any economy, and it is our responsibility to nurture its growth, resilience, and sustainability. So our committee is aware of the challenges facing the financial ecosystem, and we are steadfast in our commitment in driving reforms that will fortify its foundations. The financial landscape, as we all know, is evolving very rapidly, driven by te technological advancements, global economic shifts, and the need for greater financial inclusion. So we recognize the imperative for our banking institutions to adapt and, and embrace the cha the cha these changes to remain competitive on the global stage. So to this end, I want to assure you all that the Senate Committee on Banking and Insurance and other financial institutions is actively, actively engaged in a comprehensive review of existing regulations and legislations governing the financial ecosystem. And we are collaborating with industry experts, stakeholders, and regulatory bodies to ensure that our legal framework is not only robust, but also flexible and enough to accommodate innovation while safeguarding the stability of the financial system. Furthermore, our committee is focused on promoting financial inclusion initiatives to bring more Nigerians into the formal financial market. We believe that a financial inclusive society is stronger and more prosperous and we are working tirelessly to create an environment that encourages banks to reach both the underserved and the unbanked segments of the population. So I want to assure all of us gathered here today that the Senate Committee on Banking, Insurance and other financial institutions is unwavering in its commitment to driving positive reforms in the banking industry. We are cognizant of the pivotal role that the banking sector plays in Nigeria's economic development and we are dedicated to fostering an environment that encourages innovation, competition and inclusivity. So as we celebrate the 60th anniversary of the Institute, let us recommit ourselves to the shared goal of building a resilient, dynamic, and inclusive banking industry that will catalyze the economic prosperity of our great nation. Congratulations, and thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. Thank you, and uh, good evening. His Excellency, the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, his Excellency, the Governor of Lagos State, he represented both of them. Um, the special guest of honor today, Dr. Olayemi Kadosu, Governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, and his dear wife. My friend and my brother, this is your night, you most welcome to it. The President, Chairman of Council, Chartered Institute of Bankers, Dr. Ken Para, all other protocols duly observed, including the banker senators that we have amongst us. You're almost welcome. Well, I'm standing between two things. One is dinner, and the other is hearing from Yemi Kadosu. And um, it's he, clearly, whose night it is. It is the monetary side that um, we are looking forward to hearing from. But you know, under President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, we have embarked on bold and courageous reforms. And we all know, thank you, it's recognized worldwide that he has made some very difficult but necessary decisions. And um, they are yielding fruit. He has the empathy to intervene on behalf of the poorest and the most vulnerable. But at the same time, he's determined that he's on the right course 
and he intends to stay that course and um, build a stable, resilient economy that will allow private investment to thrive. You as bankers, or we as the Chartered Institute, having come from 124 members to about 172,000 now, it means that, you know, maybe we can take a leaf from the bankers' book of resilience in the face of all kinds of challenges. The industry is thriving, the industry is relatively healthy, and I commend all participants in the banking industry for what they have been able to achieve, including taking Nigerian banks to the shores of Europe as well as the rest of Africa. It's a sign of what we are able to deliver, what we are able to offer to the financial world. Finally, I will say that whereas it has been difficult, as I said, the results are beginning to come through. In the, I won't say anything more about that, but in the next few days I can assure you, you continue to hear some of the progress that is being made to turn the Nigerian economy around to encourage investment as the path to growing the economy, creating jobs and reducing poverty, which is the ultimate aim of President Bola Thank you. During his banking and public sectors career, he served as the chairman of the Lagos Economic Summit Group and the African Venture Philanthropy Alliance, AVP. He has also served as a member of the Economic Advisory Council of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and Cities Alliance Think Tank. Other private positions held during his career include the board membership of Chevron Oil PLC, Nigerian National Advisory Board for Impact Investing, Lagos Business School, Institution of the Annual State and Economic Summit, Johnson Products and DRSA Health Trust Insurance. With a standing ovation, please welcome Mr. Yamin Kaloso, the Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria. We sure hope you enjoyed this video. For more entertaining video content such as behind the scenes of music videos and movies, music concerts, premieres, interviews and exclusive gists, subscribe now to our YouTube channel Goldmine TV and be unleashed into a world of super excitement.